slip through. He's going to get lucky runs down to fine leg of the inside edge. Well, there's three of them. Simo completely deceived by that one. I'm not sure if it was a googly or more of a top spinner which rushed onto him. Well, Edson Cox, as we know him. A little bit of air from Mushtaq. Was the bait. Simcox took it and dealt with it well. Vintage Pat Simcox. That could be the shot of the day. An absolutely superb cover drive after being beaten a couple of times and really unsettled last over. Pat Simcox stands up, hits through the line, and it races away to the mid-off. Again, the advantage of height. Key words from Lee Irvin there was stand up. Look at him, absolutely upright, feet almost together. Simcox uh, has no regard for this man. Whether the ball will get there or not, it's going to be touch and go. It does. Well, there we go. He was correct in assuming that the first delivery would be a warm up and would be a half pace. And what a fine way to bring up South Africa's 200. They faced 370 balls to do it, but look at this. That wasn't a bad delivery at all. It was on a reasonable length, it was leaving him, and he just. No, he won't get any runs for that because that's evasive action. Oh, he will. Well, it, well, he did take evasive action. It nicked him on the elbow, and uh, it went for four leg buys. Oh, he hits firmly up to the long arm. Well, a lot of things under 50 partnership. That's a good one. Again, I think uh, I'm lucky with you, Trevor. I'm, being, I'm getting my second 50 partnership on this commentary. And that's a beautiful shot. That's four runs. That's a nice shot. Still straight up. So he's batting, batting to it, straight past the bowler. That's struck away, and that'll get to the boundary. Four more to Simcox. Four more to South Africa. Shorter delivery back, Pat Simcox rocking on that back foot. That was nicely played. He sold him a dummy to start with and then resold it almost. Now I think they might be on the radio. Yeah, already Cyril Mitchley's got his communications out of his pocket. A shocking delivery. And dealt with adequately by Simcox. Can't ask more than that. Get a full toss. Hit it for four. And again, that's beautifully struck. And 50 runs to Pat Simcox. What a year he's having with the bat. Another valuable contribution by the old war horse. South Africa has relied on Simcox very heavily as he picks this ball just short of the length up beautifully over the mid wicket towards the boundary. And Sir continues to struggle. His confidence is not quite very uh, delighted that Simcox acknowledging his teammates in the dressing room. That's hit. High, handsome, two bounces, four runs. What a good over for Pat Simcox and for South Africa. the gap beautifully well he's hit that cleanly enough he's not moving he knows he hit it hard Simcox has just taken away the play from Pakistan Amir Sahail drifting into middle and leg stump 
dispatched ruthlessly over mid-wicket by Simcox. Oh. Let's have some more of that, said Patrick Simcox. That was a great shot. Wonderful entertainment here from the South African all-rounder. Beautiful covered drive. He does put back to this one and it's through the covers for four runs. Valentine's Day crowd having a great deal of fun now. And this is the man who's given them the pleasure. Really been a superb innings. I'll take that. Bowl me a few more short ones and I'll deal with you in that way and I won't move from the crease, it's four runs. The ball are erring in line this time, whereas previous short deliveries were directed at the body. This one is short and wide, frees up Pat Simcox's arms. Now he's going to get a few more here. This is his highest test score as he gets it past the square leg umpire they won't get four runs they'll get two that's enough to move him to 83 in south africa to 317 for eight and 150 partnership short and punished by simcox that almost sat up and looked at him he's hit that so straight that's sort of wide of it on that's all more humiliation for one of the best fast bowlers in the world to be pulled so straight as Robin has described uh, is real really bad news for him normally the speed of the delivery means that the batsman's got to sort of hook it around be behind square look at that that went right through him and there was an appeal from the bowler but it wasn't supported behind the stumps I think it flicked a pad but that very nearly I would imagine bowled him Now he gets it down to fine leg. And he gets a single. So now he's three away from the Magic 100. But he's obviously looking a little tentative. He doesn't want to make a mistake at this stage. And that's another edge. And it's one more run. One more valuable run, Trevor. Let's watch some Cox. Does he get his hundred? They're looking for it, and he's going to get it. He's got it, and he leaps in the air, and now he holds his bat aloft, first to his teammates in the dressing room, and to the whole of the Wondrous Stadium, and they've come to their feet. Patrick Simcox has made his first Test hundred, and how richly deserved. What a moment for Patrick Simcox. Simo has done well for his team, his teammates supporting him, all of South Africa is supporting him. This is a brilliant partnership and they went up to 350 as well. This is how it happened, he just dropped it down in front of him and set off straight away and Boucher was coming. He was alert to the moment was Mark Boucher and just look at the joy. 221 minutes. Just 151 balls, and that's some going in test match cricket when you've come in at 166 for eight. And he's hit 15 fours in a superlative effort. And Simcox now gets four runs through the covers. And I think those four runs take us to a new world record for the ninth wicket partnership. Well, now he'll be able to play with a lot more freedom now that he's got to his 100. Went back, cut, straight in the gap. I think he's much more relieved now. Feeling great. And, of course, the job isn't finished, and Simcox uh, will know that. And he knows that uh, although suddenly the tension is gone and there's relief, 
have other objective changes all the time. The next goal now is to score 200 partnerships. Now he's doing the sensible thing. He's uh, they're just regrouping by just patting them back to Saklain Mushtaq. But it doesn't take too long before he said, well, I've had enough of this now. I'm in control. And whack, four runs. So a big milestone for Pat Simcox. And indeed for Boucher, got his first Test 50. And together, they now hold the world ninth wicket record. 195, improving by five on Asabit Bal and Intercup Alam's effort at the Oval against England in 1967. Two Pakistanis who held it, and now it's been taken away by two South Africans against Pakistan. Boucher has been becalmed while all this has been going on. He hasn't scored for half an hour. He's only scored four runs, and this might be the end, and it is. So Simcox is eventually out, drained probably from all the excitement, the adrenaline may be gone, and he hits it straight down the throat of mid-on, and Patrick Simcox is out, but what an incredible innings it has been from him, and it has ended quite tamely in the end as he hits it straight down the throat of mid-on off the bowling of Saklan Mushtaq, and... Uh, he knows that it was a bit silly. John T. Rhodes gives him a little high five. And he leaves to a standing ovation. What a moment for the 37-year-old Patrick Leonard Simcox. His dad, who played many years for Griquas. Well, I'm sure he's a very proud man. And South Africa now 361 for nine.